here talking about uh, tractor safety today. Um, normally what we would expect farmers to do when they come out in the morning is do what's called a walk around check. Um, so basically check underneath in case there's oil in the ground or water and that will give you a fair, particularly if you're on a dry surface. And then check it for oil, water, diesel and tires. So we just go through some of those checks now. So we just do the walk around check first and you can see here it's dry. There's no uh, traces of oil on the ground or water. The other thing we can do while we're doing that is checking the tires, condition of the tires. And what you do there is compare one to the other. So we can't really tell how much air is in that, but we can compare it against the one across the far side. Particularly if there's nothing behind, no attachment on, you can stand directly behind the track and you can compare this one to the other one. And we can see the air pressure is okay in it. And the same with the front wheels then. We can also check tyre condition. These tyres here, you might see a little bit of perishing in them over time. And it could be down here, this is a good example of the cut if you want. So again, you have to be careful with the load that you put on that tractor because they are original tyres for that and uh, it could be likely to blow if there's a heavy weight behind. So we're doing an oil check then. The tractor is cold, it's the right time to do that, making sure the tractor is level on the ground also. So we take out the dipstick and we always wipe it first to see because uh, it gives us a bit more accurate reading. Then we check the level of oil, see what level of oil is in it. So this one now in this case is low. You can see that it's here. It needs to be up to this point here. Right, maximum is here, minimum, so it's quite low. Now that tractor has been hot as well in the last few minutes, so that's going to affect that. That's the name of the water. We can do a water check here. So on this tractor, uh, the only thing you can do is take off the cap and just check to see what level of water is in it. You can also stand up and look down into it. And you can see the water clearly over the fins in the top of the radiator. Some tractors will have a coolant system on them where you can check the level on the coolant. This is one of the older tractors, so you have a radiator cap. And the only way, the, the only way to check that is to take off the cap and have a look at it. Once there's a, what do you say, roughly an inch of water over the fins, that's enough. Checking the other side now, you can see the front, we're checking the front wheel, our tire pressure on the front and back wheel, and they're okay. You can see that's okay. Um, general condition right around, that the cab is clean, that the mirrors are clean. If you're going doing a day's work, you need to see what you're doing. So general condition of the cab is okay. We haven't included lights in that, but it's also useful if you want to be working at night to include your lights in that to make sure that the lights are working and that the lights are all on, uh, all in good condition, that there's no damage. Light is in good condition. Plow lamps, front lamps, and so on. Always remember to wear gloves when you're handling oil because it can cause dermatitis. Dermatitis is a skin disease. Um, you may never suffer from it up to now, but you may it, it may come tomorrow. So just always protect yourself by wearing gloves. These are what they call a nitride glove, and uh, they're chemical resistant. So when you're handling any kind of oil, always try and wear nitride gloves. We mount the cab. Always use the foot, the step, and the hand supports that are there. And most tractors have hand support on both sides, one on the door and one on the frame. Climb up using all the steps. And sit on the seat. And the first thing you do then is to adjust your seat. You need to be able to put your foot on the touch of the floor fully. So you may need to adjust your seat forward or back to suit. Some tractors have a steering column that can adjust as well, and then you're nice and comfortable in position. So when you're in the cab, to adjust the mirrors to suit the driver, so you need to be sitting on the seat and you maybe have somebody else, or you need to hop in and out until you get the mirrors adjusted properly. They can swivel right around. So once your mirrors are right, then you have a good view from both sides behind. Uh, particularly when you're reversing a trailer or a tanker, it's very important that you look behind you when reversing. So if you're reversing, your head should be actually looking behind like that. You do need to turn your head to check. Also use your mirrors. Don't be afraid to check and use your mirrors. But you may need to actually hold the clutch or just briefly stall the tractor while you're checking forward. Again, keep looking behind. Uh, sometimes you may have to turn on the seat and look the other way as well. So there's a quite a lot of movement when you're reversing a tractor and trailer or some implement like that, particularly at silage or whatever. Make sure that you don't hit. So you're always checking around. So there's a lot of scanning going around all the time while you're reversing.
Catching, in this case we have a power washer with a PTO drive on it. We reverse in, we park the tractor, we put the handbrake on. Then you have to get out to disconnect the PTO. So the PTO change disconnect and the PTO itself here. So the PTO is taken off then and back up onto the tractor to drop the hitch. So in order to lift the hitch on the most tractor, you have to lift it first and there's a lever inside that you pull and that will drop it. And what the lever does, it opens two crooks here and that holds the whole hitch mechanism or the weight of the trailer and the trail implement behind. So you, once that's pulled, you can drop the trailer to the ground and then pull forward. Lift it back up then and make sure that it locks fully because these two hooks here have to lock into place fully. When they're locked in then you always drop down the, hit, the, the lift arms because there's pressure on the hydraulics if you don't. And some people try with the, with the lift up fully so always make sure. So this here, if there's no pressure on these, that's your guide there. If this is fully up there will be rigid solid. So make sure, make sure that they're, they're loose and that you can see you know, Just drop it down and lift it. Um, then that brings us on to parking the tractor safely. So always drop the implement in front, whether it's loader, bucket grab or whatever, make sure it's dropped fully. Close grabs if you have a shear grab or an ordinary grab. Close it first of all. Drop it level to the ground. Apply your hand brake. In this case, this tractor, you put it in gear. Some tractors may have a parking gear and various different things on them. Um, turn it off then, remove the key and reverse out of the tractor or back down out of the tractor.